Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So the top five dropshipping niches for Q4. Now for those of you that don't know, Q4 is literally one of the best and one of, in my opinion, the easiest ways to make money dropshipping with Shopify. However, there is a slight twist to this. Along with having the right kinds of products, you need to be making sure that you're selling within the right niches during this time period to really take advantage of Q4 because focus your time on the wrong niches or even the wrong products and be at a risk of just wasting a Q4 and not making as much money as you would like. Now, because 2020 has been an interesting year so far, I personally believe that Q4 and the types of purchases a lot of these customers will be making will also be slightly affected. But nonetheless, by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what the top five dropshipping niches are for Q4. Without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you'll have to do in order to find success with any of these niches, which I'm about to mention is just gently tap that like button down below until it turns blue. I'll really appreciate it. Okay, hopefully I've done that. But niche number one on my list is one of the most common niches and it's the toys niche. Now, before I show you guys exactly how you should even go about with the toys niche, if you should sell within a broad category of toys or whether you should go specific, let's go ahead and go on over to Google Trends just to see the overall demand for just the keyword of toys. If we look at 2004 to present, we can see that clearly there is a peak season and a dip season for this kind of niche. The peak starts in September and goes all the way up until December, which is when it crashes down heavily in January and it stays consistent again until about September or October. Clearly, this niche is a very, very seasonal niche, but because it peaks up in Q4, this is one of the most lucrative niches you can get into during this time period. And you don't really have to necessarily start a brand new store within just this niche. You can simply add products to your general store, which are toy related, or maybe if you already run a niche store, which you can kind of incorporate toys or something related to that within your store. But Q4 is the perfect time for the toys niche. However, you want to strategically go about selling within the toys niche because just sell within a broad category and you may risk not getting any kind of sales. So what exactly should you be doing? In my opinion, you should be subdividing into specific types of toys. Don't just go and randomly sell every toy you see on Facebook or AliExpress. Instead, maybe have this toy store revolve around just RC toys, meaning remote controlled toys that kids can ride on or control with a remote controller. Or you wanna maybe have a store or just add a section within your general store related to educational toys. Because of what's going on in the world right now, more people would definitely be leaning towards those educational toys because kids have already missed out a large portion of the school year by staying at home and studying from home. So educational toys can definitely be a lucrative sub niche that you can get into. You can also sell Christmas related toys because in my experience, Christmas related shopping begins in October or even as early as September. So you can kind of go into that niche as well. And the final niche, which I believe is kind of like a specific product, but you can turn it into a whole niche for its own, which is the doll houses niche. Now, if you just go on the keyword planner tool and look up doll houses, you'll see that there is a very big demand for just that keyword itself. So that lets you know that this product could be in demand. And if you create a store or just add a section within your general store just related to doll houses, you'll have a much higher chance of just selling those, especially if you sell with Google ads or with Facebook, you can test them one by one. So that kind of gives you more leeway to find a winning product. When it comes to advertising, you should definitely be utilizing both Facebook as well as Google ads. For Facebook, just go ahead and start targeting with baby magazines or I love my baby community pages. There's a bunch of these kinds of pages that you can target on Facebook. You can also go with baby stores like Toys R Us, which is bankrupt right now, but you can still possibly target that on Facebook, or you can just go with the general interest toys and go from there. But just a key note that during this time period, this will be one of the most competitive niches that you can get into. So you want to be making sure your ads are on point and everything else with your website and product pages also on point. You can watch some of my videos if you want to kind of develop that and make that ready for Q4. For Google Ads, you want to do SEO research based around the toy itself. So if you're selling doll houses, just go on the keyword planner tool, type in doll house, do research from there. If you're selling like a remote controlled truck, go on the keyword planner tool and search up remote controlled truck. This will depend entirely on the product you're trying to sell. You can watch my video on SEO and Google Ads in general on my channel. I have a whole playlist for you guys after this one. But let's move on to the second niche on my list. And this is 
the electric fireplace niche. Now hold on, before you run off from this video thinking I'm just randomly pulling out niches from my you know what, because electric fireplaces could be something that is not really available on AliExpress, I personally believe that this kind of niche or the products within this niche should not be fulfilled from AliExpress. Instead, you should be trying to fulfill these electric fireplaces from eBay or Amazon. But the main reason why I'm even suggesting the electric fireplace niche in the first place is because if you go into Google Trends, we can see that the electric fireplace niche clearly has ups and downs, but the ups start around late August and early September, and they start going down in late March of the next year. So this niche has a larger time period where it is actually successful. And if you look at the overall chart starting all the way back from 2004 until right now, which is in 2020, it has been consistently peaking upwards more and more every single year. So what this lets you know that this is a very in-demand niche. If you just find the right suppliers for it, and if you take a little bit of extra work just to fulfill from eBay or Amazon, you can definitely make a killing within this niche, which is why I believe it is the perfect niche to be getting into. If you're not sure how to fulfill from eBay or Amazon, I actually released a video on this, which you can check out on my channel after this one. But I highly recommend you go into Google Ads for this compared to Facebook, because with Facebook, higher ticket products may not necessarily work the best. With Google, do SEO optimization around some of the main keywords related to this niche, which are the following. So electric fireplace, fireplace heater, you can just go with the fireplace and go from there with SEO. But nonetheless, an amazing niche to be getting into during this time period if you start right away after you watch this video. But let's move on to our next niche on the list, and this is the hockey niche. Now, another niche which actually has a peak season during Q4, and also another niche which not a lot of people actually sell within, especially those drop shippers. So for this kind of niche, before I actually talk about the specifics, let's go to the Google keyword trends and see where it goes up and where it goes down. So as you can see, it starts peaking up in September. It kind of goes flat until December and January and February is when it really goes up. Then if you look at the next year, we can see that it's follows a similar trend and it really starts to go down in April. So this means you have a large time period available to make a store within this niche if you want to, or just sell products within your general store related to this niche. But if you do decide to have one store with all hockey related products, make sure to again fulfill from eBay or Amazon, same applies to you if you use a general store for this kind of niche. The main reason why I believe eBay and Amazon is better than AliExpress for this is because this is a time-based niche, because even though it has a longer time season, it's still a seasonal product and it will go up and go down within that time period. So you want to be making sure that your products get delivered within that time period. I highly recommend you go with Facebook ads for this kind of niche simply because Facebook is where a lot of the hockey related pages are visible on. Not that you can't really sell on Google, but in my opinion, Facebook would be a better platform to use. And with targeting, you can simply start by doing interest targeting for pages like hockey or hockey and then insert the item name. So for instance, hockey stick, or you can do famous hockey teams, famous hockey players, hockey stores, etc., and go from there. So if you do decide to utilize Facebook ads, you should not be running out of pages to target, but definitely an amazing niche to be getting into, especially for Q4. But let's move on to our fourth niche on the list, and this niche is the hunting niche. Now, before, again, you think that I'm just randomly throwing out niches, just know that not all products that are related to hunting are products which are disabled for getting advertised on Facebook or Google or any other platform. In fact, I have a few recommendations here for the products which are allowed on Facebook Facebook or Google. Some of these include the tree ladder stands, deer feeders, certain types of bows, harnesses that you can use in the wild or trail cameras, etc. So the list goes on and on. It is your responsibility to know exactly which kind of products are allowed to be sold on Facebook or Google. But again, I recommend you do eBay or Amazon fulfillment for this. Not only because this is a seasonal niche, as you can see via the Google Trends, it goes up during late July, August, September, and then it starts to go down in late November and early December. But also because certain types of hunting products will get stopped at customs and they will be sent back to your AliExpress supplier. So to avoid that risk and to avoid that hassle, simply start fulfilling your orders from eBay or Amazon. But nonetheless, an amazing niche to be selling for Q4. When it comes to advertising, you want to, of course, read the policy for whatever platform you decide to use. I recommend using both Facebook as well as Google for this kind of niche. For Facebook, you want to just enter the item name. So if you're selling deer feeders, maybe just type in deer feeder to see if there are interests related to that. If you're selling like harnesses or trail cameras, just type in trail camera or wild camera and go from there. 
You can also target broad interests like hunting, camping, or just outdoors interests or specific retail stores. For Google Ads, however, you can do SEO research based on the product type and you want to make sure that is minimum of 25,000 monthly searches in total for all of the keywords combined. And this is because with this niche, anything less than that, and you may not really have the best chance at selling products within this niche because there is heavy competition for the hunting niche, but nonetheless an amazing niche to be getting into for Q4. Let's move on to our fifth niche on the list before I show you guys the bonus niche that I have at the very end. But the fifth niche is the heated accessories niche. Now this is kind of a very, very broad niche. You can sell a lot of products within this niche, including a heated vest, heated gloves, heated jackets, shoe warmers, etc. So basically you're creating a store or just adding a section within your general store, which caters to all of the heated electronic kind of products. And I recommend you use both Facebook and Google ads for this niche for Facebook you can just target very broad interests like winter or just the interest cold maybe if you're selling some type of vest you can just go ahead and type in vest and target that maybe type in shoe warmer and you'll be able to find interest related to that or for this niche since it's so broad you can just do no interest targeting and let Facebook do majority of the work because a lot of the times it can work well for you depending on the kind of ad that you create but nonetheless an amazing niche to be getting into for q4 let's move on to our final bonus niche and this niche is a print on demand niche it's the christmas themed pajamas niche now this kind of niche doesn't require that you have some experience with print on demand don't worry if you don't because i have a video on how to get into print on demand you can watch out on my channel but this niche is the perfect niche to be getting into in early october or late september September even and since it's a print on demand niche you really won't be having to deal with any types of AliExpress suppliers or delays because your orders will be shipped and delivered in a timely manner it will be extremely easy to handle a store like this and again for Facebook or Google or whatever you decide to use stick to Christmas related pages when it comes to advertising specifically but you will ha definitely have to test different themes and different styles and different designs for your Christmas related pajamas but one great thing you can do is just take reference from what was selling in the past maybe the past year and kind of mimic that or create something similar related to that but this was my top five list and bonus list that you can get into for q4 if you found any type of value in this video smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time